Hello, my name is Sarah and today we are going to look at academic integrity. In this short presentation we are going to look at what academic integrity is, we will then look at what plagiarism is and its components. From these we shall create strategies and sources of assistance which can prevent you committing plagiarism in your academic future. What is academic integrity? Academic integrity is a code used by academics this means that the work should be honest, original and truthful. Work should be the student's own creation. It should not have been taken from anywhere else. Therefore, it should be original to the student. What is plagiarism? Plagiarism is a literacy theft, as it is the act of people stealing other people's work. For example, ideas, images, opinions or work, and classing it as their own work. After they have committed the act, they hand it in to be marked or graded. Without the students citing the sources they have used in order to gather research for their assignment. This is seen as literacy theft as you are not giving recognition to the person's work used in order to generate your academic work. According to the Telegraph 2011, there were 17,000 incidents of plagiarism at universities in the United Kingdom. However, we must not forget that plagiarism can also be committed in many ways by other members of society. Components of plagiarism. There are four main types of plagiarism that you will need to be aware of when writing academically. The first type of plagiarism is collusion. According to the University of Cambridge, this involves students working on assignments together by sharing ideas or opinions on a particular subject when the lecturer does not want them to. This is seen as plagiarism as by working together the student is not producing their own work. The second type of plagiarism is direct plagiarism. This involves copying another student's work word for word without using quotation marks or referencing the student that you took the idea or opinion of. This is seen as breaking the academic integrity code as the student is being dishonest as they are cheating. The third type of plagiarism is self-plagiarism. This happens when a student submits their own work which they have previously done and when they submit elements of their work which have previously been marked by another lecturer before. The, this is seen as plagiarism as both lecturers have not said you can submit the same work. The final type of plagiarism is mosaic plagiarism. This is also known as patch writing. This happens when students use phrases from sources which they have used without citing or using quotation marks. Or it can be when a student uses synonyms for things the author is referring to while at the same time they keep the general structure and also meaning of the original version. Strategies to avoid plagiarism As a university student, when you are writing academic, an academic piece of writing for your degree, there are five main things you should do to avoid plagiarism. The first thing you should do to avoid plagiarism is to have a bibliography at the end of your work. It looks something like Rashton F and Pete S, 2012, Essential and Marketing, United Kingdom, Frenchies Hall. The second thing you should do to avoid plagiarism is to cite sources that you use in your assignment, for example, Rashton and Pete, 2012. By having a bibliography and citing sources, you are giving credit to the author's work that you have used to gather ideas and arguments. The third thing that you should do to avoid plagiarism is re read over and edit your assignments once they are complete, in case you have plagiarised unbeknown to yourself. The final thing you should do to avoid plagiarism is to summarise any ideas you will get from academic sources. By doing this, you are less likely to copy the ideas directly. Sources of assistance there are many sources of assistance that can help you in your time at university, so you can achieve the best qualification at the end of your degree. The four sources I would recommend are an other reference guide that shows you how to reference properly. For example, it teaches you how to reference books, internet sources and images. The second thing I would recommend is the Royal Literacy Fund website, as they give information on how to do academic writing and also tell you more information about academic integrity. The third thing I would recommend is an online plagiarism checker, as this allows you to check work to see if you have plagiarised before you submit it to your lecturer. The final source of assistance I would recommend is your university, for example, your lecturers, as they are able to teach you more about academic integrity and plagiarism in detail. Bibliography
Thank you for taking the time to watch and listen to this short presentation on academic integrity. I hope it helps in your academic studies in the future.